food storage. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Very well. <laughs> you have. Look at this. Oh, dear. <laughs> In the. We always had a little bit of mud, a bit of warmth, with some fire going on. Huh? Ooh, let's go and see the husband's hut. Gotta be somewhat interesting. Oh, got two two structured tiers. There's a outer frame and an inner frame. Wow, impressive place. So, as you walk in, you see this. Let me show you. A cheeky husband like me. No. <laughs> Love to be inside the grandmother's house because she teach me everything. <laughs> How to live well. Yes. How to live well is uh, the norm. Little fireplace going, cobwebs. She sees like this. Huh? She would be making sure that things are well organized in life here. It's a doorway, doorway out. So the garden into the inside. All would have happened in the middle here. The ceremonies, celebrations each other talking to each other sharing their thoughts and ideas and emotions there's a tiny fire going in there wow the warmth the fireplace yes it's a real fire it's beautiful. There we are. traditions and values of many people, how they live the land. It's a little fire. It's so beautiful. Anyhow, you can stand in here now. It's larger, bigger, more durable. Amazing, 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 amazing. Fire 
is still going. It's the third one. It's everything revolved around the wives and one man. Seems that that idea that's been uh, shared amongst cattle shed over there, Granary Reed. That's where it's going. So there's no issue. There's three granaries set up. Grandma there at the entrance. It's all been well. That's Kikir. One of the, it's the largest of all the tribes in Kenya. It's a good little setup. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. And closed it, set on the floor. No internet, no Candy Crush, nothing else, but just a simple and profound and connected life to reality at the time. Nothing for entertainment. Just kept the family enriched, looked after, took care of the animals, found food, and kept the family growth of their life. This is the entrance to a Samburu home. Tiny little gap with that wall protecting and giving sort of like a windbreak. Oh, there is one. Entering a Borana home. <coughs> Place. Sat in that way. They kept some animals. A little bench structure held by a few stacks of tree like. It's almost like a tree. Taking out the branches and then start using the tree. <laughs> Magical. Everything came from land. Everything was part of the land in the community. <laughs> Everything. Oh. pastoral landscape and their homes shelter for protection sitting on a log fireplace there we have it folks simplistic life Simple and powerful. Message from me is to be conscious and appreciate everything you've got because life is such. It's beautiful and we appreciate it. It's got that little archway through. Beautiful. How can you say beautiful? It is beautiful. It's not like your well polished, hygienic room that your filtered oxygen. <laughs> this is how you're meant to live and how you meant to get rid of all your diseases and ailments by connecting with the earth. But are you? You're tired, you're stressed, you're distressed. 
Wow, look at this. You can de-stress. <laughs> People call it best stress. I call it nonsense. This is how our ancestors lived and lived for centuries. The same technology used as life, even to this day, 2021, we still see homes like this. And I have been in people's living spaces like this in the last 40 years of my travels, or almost 54 years of my travels since birth. I was curious to know what my forefathers did and how the creation has evolved. And with our imagination and vivid sense of memory, we've managed to upgrade the ways that we lived and how we shelter ourselves with technology and materials advantage by scientific means. And it's all in pursuit of human well-being and happiness. Yet, year 2022, the human well-being is at the bottom as ever been, I would think. The human comforts and convenience have been upgraded to beyond. No generation has ever experienced the way of life, the way we are experiencing in terms of technology, the comforts and convenience that have been brought upon because of tools that we have introduced. Yet the human consciousness, human responsibility, human gentle sensitive nature to life has been completely lost and it is lost beyond uh, repair, I should say. Um, we are sick, we are ill, we are allergic to everything. Yesterday, somebody was talking about allergic to cheese. And what about milk? What about dairy products in general, butter and all other products? No, just cheese. What is it in that cheese? Is it one particular type of cheese or all, all types of cheese? Is it one particular type of milk that produces that kind of cheese? Or anyhow, I'm deviating from my shooting from the hip, talking about how our ancestors live in a hut like this. And across the world, this is the way of life it was. And with changes to our ways in which how we use material from our earth, particularly from soil, we managed to move ourselves forward in many ways, yet our lives have digressed, gone backwards. Um, what can I say? All I can say is I'm sad for the new generation of humans or children of our future if they don't pick up the understanding of how life must be appreciated and valued we will produce the next generation of children that are aberrant and further fall into complete distress and that's not, that's not how we should leave a generation behind or for front of us, we should leave a little better notch than how we found it, than how we are going to leave is down to us individually to make sure that we leave a better life for the new generations. Yeah, once again, here I am, sitting in the lowest. Ah! Imagine looking out to this little doorway no way to beyond, I should say, and uh, sharing the uh, sharing the space. You no know, more woven, no rooms, no shut doors. Just open one door to enter and exit, and uh, share the space as one one family instead of living in large spaces in locked rooms in their own individual <laughs> solidarity or I should have said these days everybody is so individual right 
when you come to the outer experience, everyone's on their phone, trying to love the entire universe, love the whole world. But yet when they come to communicate and engage with one another, different races, tribes, so much conflict. Why? Because we haven't made ourselves in, in such a way as to engage and cultivate embracing good nature. There's no good or bad. There's a nature of life that works. So I look down. It's a Maasai home. Aha. Now that became, that's mostly um, cow dung and because their Maasai are quite uh, popular with the cattle, their cattle herders. Oh, look at this. Entering a Maasai home here. It's a little winded. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing or smiling. <sighs> Maasai community. I've traveled across this land multiple times. It's beautiful to come and see everything in one land. Amazing. I am visiting Iteso, the community of Iteso. Once again, the huts. The food storage. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Very well. <laughs> you have Doesn't matter how big and small you are, you have to bend down to get inside the wife's hut. Hmm? Once you're in the hut, it opens up. A spacious roof. Fireplace always goes in the middle. It's a good experience. A little look out. Grinding stone. <sighs> this is my view looking out of the hut. It's <laughs> wonderful communities. Lived First, second, third wife, they all live nicely, happily in this beautiful, tiny, knit community. Should I call it community? The family community. Yes. Here we are.
It's a bit made out of kin. The sticks. This cane that's woven into more like a, a globe. Stuck to the earth. Once you're no longer in use, they'll go back to earth. No waste. All biodegradable. Technology that's been used and preserved humanity for centuries and millennia. For millions of years, people lived this way for thousands of years at least. Our forefathers showed us the way to preserve and protect the land that we temporarily borrow for our lives to experience it. We've extracted and made into a extremely unlivable situation. The world is dying. We are trying to live longer by doing all kinds of nonsense. Yet that idea that came about in human head, making money for myself and ignoring everybody else has made everyone else's life miserable. And even the very few who are supposed to have thought that their lives are better are uh, twisting and turning themselves into sleepless nights and disastrous life situation for themselves and everybody else around them. Sitting in this hut all by myself, not a single tourist. There's thousands of them visit here only to be in luxury, but not to remember of the land and the people who live this land how they lived before. It is sad, you can hear those light aircraft flying over me from reservation and uh, game reserve to campsites, to safari centers, unable to see the place and how at least a model village at the edge of Nairobi, not a single tourist here. For some reason, they'd rather be in a, a comfortable air conditioning, 23 degrees in a concrete structure instead of connecting to the very earth that you are part of. Who am I to, who am I to explain about this idea, about human nonsense, but just to share? my presence in the present experience of this very natural way of being as a human. Would I live in this? Well, given the situations, if I need shelter, if I need protection, if I need resting place, I wouldn't be complaining about anything. This is in pursuit of happiness. This is in pursuit of well-being for you. You will receive it with great gratitude to this planet, to the people who build this structure and respect and bow down. They are to me are more worthwhile spending time, at least on my own in this hut, connecting to feel how those ancestors would have lived. And even to this day, large population of this people of this land, the continent of Africa, are still living in these conditions um, that I'm unable to comment or further say anything because the circumstances where environments and societies and nations have construct is for them to find the ways in which the people of the land is cared for and recognized and at the same time never to forget the history and our forefathers what they have taught us the technology that they use at the time the materials that they use at the time 
were relevant and of conscious nature and they were not living off the land they were part and they were the land themselves their body came from earth they lived upon the earth they used the material to construct their lives around and their villages and communities and small um, encapsulating the environmental conditions and protecting and preserving life and this to me is more touching and feeling of connection to this planet and my journey through this planet as I step out of this woven it's more like grass uh, twisted is of a pleasant nature and genuine and I respect and it is beautiful to bend down as you go down go into the hut because that shows the genuine respect to the the nature as to who we are as human beings here on this earth 